So guys, it's episode 11 of Baggio. Today we take on Andelect. We are in great form. We are top of the league. We are charging towards our first bit of silverware with Baggio. I'm going to put it out there that we are going to win the league this season. Let's get into it. So guys, here we are. We had that 1-1 draw um, against Genk in the last episode. It was it was one of those games that I think we started to get a little bit carried away. Um, I was talking about how good we were and they went down the other end and scored. But since then, our form has been pretty good. So we've changed tactic. We have gone with the 4-2-4 and we've led with it most games. Just apart from a couple where we've rotated the squad and it's made sense to play with a a shadow striker or advanced playmaker in behind. Um, we've wrapped up 5-0, 4-0, 3-3. We had a 5-5 draw with Dynamo Cave. It was a bit of a shame because we would have probably won the group if we'd have, if we'd have won that game. Um, we've managed to finish second. The draw hasn't been done as yet for the Europa League. Um, our only blip was Antwerp where we, draw one, where we drew 1-1 one, one, and Didu, who hadn't played for about three or four weeks, came off the bench and scored in the 95th minute. It was deserved. It was deserved. All these games, we have been far, far the better team. Um, we've managed to make it through to the quarterfinals of the cup. Once again, a completely rotated squad. We did have a nice draw. I think they're in the league below. We've just had a 3-0 win in the league. Ben Chilwell getting on the score sheet with a free kick. Ponce 2. And then we've just won 4-1. Ponce has scored 4. He scored 4 in the Europa League there. And he scored 4 in the Europa League there. He is in great form. So just as we said, I think we were talking about it in the last episode, the Genk, um, the Genk game. Where are we? There. We were worrying about his form. And then he's gone through a spell of 4, 5, 6, 8, 12 goals in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 games. And the two games that he didn't contribute in goals, he got himself three assists in those two games. So... What a performance from the man. His goals that he's scoring as well are absolutely first class. So that takes us to the top of the league. Um, and elect to way down in eighth. It is very tight. Look, we're only eight points clear of Andalect to our eighth. Um, we're coming up to the halfway stage. You know, we're over the halfway stage now. Um, because it's 30 games in the regular season. We need to rack up as many points as we can. Look at our goal difference. But remember... After 30 games, the league splits into two. Where we... I think we play in a top six. I think we play in a top six. I think that's right. We play in a top six against the rest. Um, we play each other twice. But our points are halved. So, at the moment, we haven't got any sort of lead, really. Um, you want to be racking up maybe even a ten-point lead would only give us a five-point lead. Um, but I do fancy our chances this year of winning the league. Provided we can keep the players that we've got in our starting eleven today fit, we will do very well. So we are away from home. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. But the team we're going today with is Kalasinek. So Quet, cause Gaspar is unfortunately injured. Catcher Rabat, Cisse, Chilwell, Verstraet, Benassa, uh, Blaszkowski on the right, Chakivadza on the left. He's in over the last few weeks instead of... Um, Yamachuk, who we can't even get in the squad at the moment. He's doing really well. And Ponce and Didu up front. Didu has just been a little bit off it, form-wise. He's just a little bit with his injuries. He's not really got back up and running yet. But Ponce is taking the limelight. That's why it's always good to play with two strikers. Because if you have one striker on an off day, you've hopefully got the other one to do the business. So here we go. We are in yellow today. I have tried to get my hands on a Ghent kit but proved to be very difficult. Um, website Classic Kits had them, but they were going for like, I think they were well over £80, I think. So half an hour in, nothing has happened as yet, and check, check a Vedza. I did drop a bit of a bollock. Here we go, there is a highlight. I'll talk about the bollock in a minute. We've lost the ball. They're going to break on us here. we win that back. We will win that back. Cesar to the straight. Chakavedza, straight, Benassa, he's going for a surgeon run, he's been rested the last couple of weeks, Sequet, oh, 
Where's it going to end up? Benassa again. Chilwell. Ooh, good strike. Goal. No, offside, offside. Ponce was offside. Yeah, so the bollock was against Utrecht. We, we played the full full strength team by mistake. I'd pressed submit by mistake. We'd already qualified. It's gone over the bar. We'd already qualified. Um, checks if I just can't normally do two in a week. And that's proven. So he's going to probably come off at half time. But a first half that we've absolutely dominated. One goal to 12. Uh, sorry, one attempt to 12. Absolutely smashed. We are happy with it. They don't like that. But we've got to think we are playing Anderlecht. I know they're down the league a little bit, but they are. Their wage budget will be probably twice as side as ours. Does Raphael Mur like it out there? He does. Raphael Mur came in and he did pretty well um, in the games that he played. He came in up front for Dido and he managed to score a couple of goals. We have got the youngster David. Now, he does miss a few chances like Dido, but he's proven to be a decent sub coming off the bench. With his pace, his acceleration, he can finish. So we're going to do that now with 20 minutes to go and absolutely nothing has happened. So we will go with David up top. We have got a quarterfinal game in the ne in this episode as well. Um, we're a gay against a team. We are gay. We are away against the team that beat us in the last one of the episodes. I think it's them. I think they beat us. So we've got an away game and then we'll hopefully get through to December. We want to win as many cups as we can. First highlight and they've hit the post. 22 shots from us, but we've not done enough. Well, nil-nil, guys, after all of the goals that we've had. I'm a little bit pissed off. Well, I am pissed off. We are creating better chances. The the deep-lying playmaker that we've introduced for the ball win has made a big, a big impact. Um, if there was an assist of an assist, our deep-lying playmakers, Raskin and Verstraet, would be doing very well. Um, let's just go on to the match stats. We hit the woodwork. Clear cut. We had a clear cut chance, half chance. Nine long shots. It's not too many long shots. Disappointing. Disappointing we couldn't get a win. But I think at the start of the season, if you said we were absolutely battering teams and taking a point against teams like Anderlecht, it would have gone down very well. So we're going to come back. We're going to play Cottage, Cottridge, Cottridge in the next round of the Cup to try and get a place in the semi final. Here we go, we'll do this. It's the draw, guys, for the Europa League knockout round. There is some big teams in the 32s. Um, here we got the uh, really big ones. Leverkusen, Monaco, Valencia, Tottenham, Schalke, Roma, Milan, Marseille, Lyon, Inter, Chelsea. Let's see who we get. Money's important for us, though. The Europa League has been pretty good to us. It's really helped us. If we look at the finances, we've made pro we've made we're making a lot of profit each month because they're giving us quite a decent amount. Even though people whinge about the the prize money, um, where are we? Prize money. We've got over five million pounds from it this year. So you know we can't grumble. Obviously nowhere near. Oh, here we are, second out of the hat. Oh, Monaco is Thierry Henry there. I oh, you know he won't be there, will he? Yeah, third in Liga. And they've got Halle, Halle Hodovic, the uh, international coach, I'm sure. Yeah, Japan, Nantes, Algeria, Ivory Coast. So that's going to be a tough draw. I don't think we're going to go much further there, are we? But it will at least concentrate on the end of the season. We've got lots of games. So we've got, obviously, 40 games in the league. We've got, hopefully, a cup run. We've got a stinking run here. We play so we've played Thursday, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, but we will rotate their bottom of the league. We'll try and play our strongest squad that we can today. So cup quarter final, here we go. Against Kotrick. We have made a couple of changes. Um Chicks of Ads is out. We've put in David instead of um Dido as well. Raskin's coming and Murs coming on the right. So a few attacking changes. We need to rotate. We have got busy, and these guys are kind, especially Mur. Um, Yamachuk's been quite unfortunate to be out of the squad as well. He's not been poor, but he's, he's not been fantastic. And young David, he's only 20. I'm hoping he can get on the score sheet today. Raskin out wide to Mur. So, quite Mur. Ponce, 1 0. There we go. Is it? Probably not. Offside? No, I don't think that's offside. 
Goal stands. 1-0. Decent football from Kortrick. They did cause us problems with this. We are a different beast to what we were. What a tackle from Benassa. He's going to release David. And David's going to be in here. Oh, that's a poor finish. Should be looking at squaring that there. But they'd never do. Um, we are a completely different animal to what we were at the start of the season. Free kick. Oh, good save. Great save. Double save from Kalasinik. Oh, let's just tighten up a little bit. Which come from a set player. Decent effort, to be fair. What a save from Kalasinik. 6.8. That deserves a 7.5 at least. Corner ball. Mur with it. Headed clear. I'm not going to get it back yet. Catches Rabat. Has got it. Where's he going? The centre half. He's put it back to Squet. Kind of dilly and dally in here. Well done, and we found uh, Raskin. Good tackle. It had to be a good tackle after his awful first first touch. Raskin again. Here we go. There he's sweeping the ball out to Chewell. See, so we're building it quite nicely here. Yamachuk. Chewell. Nice clip in the channel. Yamachuk in. Ponce diving. Sliding in for his 19th goal in the season. He seems to just score in patches. We don't care. He's 19th of the season. And it looks like we are going through to the Belgium Cup quarterfinal. Corner kick. Cissé's there. Off the bar. Looked like it went in. What a header from Cissé. Should be scoring more goals, Cissé, because he's six foot. I think six foot six. So half time. We're going to do a couple of changes. We've got a couple of players that are just filling the heat of playing two games. We've got to be careful with Chilwell because he has picked up a couple of knocks. An injury, so Galloway can go in there and um, Ophi can go in there for Benassa. As I said, we are playing this is Sunday, sorry, this is Wednesday, I think. After the Sunday game, we have got games on Friday as well, Friday and Sunday. So we have to do a lot of rotating. Galloway sweeping ball out to Murr, catch a rabbit, Raskin, lovely ball out to Ras for Raskin to Yamachuk. That's the passes that I was talking about with the deep blind playmaker that the ball winning midfield just wasn't doing. I think they're going to get a counter attack here. No, we've defended well. Now it's our turn to counter. Raskin has played in Ponce. He's in for a hat trick. Good strike with decent save from the goalkeeper. Strong arm. One more change. We're coming to the last 10 minutes. Let's have a look. Raskin struggling, but I want to keep him on. He was maybe struggling for a little bit of fitness that we're going to want to use. Probably the full back. I do want to maybe use him with Gaspar injured. We have got a decent second string side, to be fair, that we're going to be able to use at some point, probably the next game. But we're coming to an end here, and we have picked up a very comfortable... The games are very comfortable for us at the moment. We're dominating, creating chances. Galloway's in. So it was a chance for Ponce for his hat-trick. But that's it. 2-0 through to the Belgium Cup semi-final. I wonder who we play... Or who's left in the hat? I think Genk are in the hat. I don't think Anderlecht, I think they got knocked out. Their manager actually got sacked after the 0-0 draw that we had with them. So left in the hat are Chalwa, who are pretty high up. Ostend, who are lower down. And Genk. Club Bruges are the holders. We want to win a trophy, don't we? I think we'll be disappointed. Any any domestic performances that we have where we don't pick up wins um, is going to be poor for us. No team seems to be better than us. We've got two Easy-ish games coming up where we can rotate the squad. We've got to play them in two days' time. And we've got them to play on the Sunday as well. But that's it, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. We will see you Saturday morning for the next episode of Baggio. And please check out all the other videos on the channel. So this week it's been... This is Thursday. There is six videos going out. This is the fourth one. We had a... Monday we had the experiment with Hashtag United and me and my son in the game. We also had Baggio Tuesday, United way on Wednesday, a Champions League double header quarter final with Manchester City. Today's episode, and then Saturday, Sunday, we will do another episode, Baggio Saturday and the United way on Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers and everyone else for watching. And we will see you Saturday, another episode of Baggio. We will come back, I don't know. We might do the Monaco game. We'll do the Monaco game. Cheers, guys. See you later.